Hi, I'm Marga with UBC's Digital Tattoo Project, where we discuss online presence and digital citizenship, and how they impact your online identity. Today, we will be talking about website tracking and what it means for your online privacy. Whether it's actively managing your browser's cookie settings or simply using the HTTPS for more secure web browsing, there are still many people that don't know how to customize their privacy settings across the relevant platforms, and perhaps even more that are not aware of the consequences that can result from neglect. Many users don't actually know how their activity is being tracked or how to protect themselves. This can lead to the false perception of being scared of every web page you land on, thinking that behind every page click could lie a malware virus. But just because a website's tracking your information and tailoring KFC double down ads to you doesn't mean that your privacy is necessarily being invaded. In fact, ads are one of the big reasons why free content exists on the internet. What is important, however, is just that you understand how these websites are getting your information in the first place, which is through something called cookies. Not those cookies. Cookies are essentially small pieces of code that are stored on your computer that provide identifiers for the websites you visit. Third-party websites who usually put out these ads use cookies to gather information about your search preferences. Ever wonder how Google knew about your fascination with processed meat? Well, it's not just Google that knows that now because now other ads specifically targeting fast food lovers like yourself are sitting at your browser doorstep. Who knows though, maybe you were looking for a chicken sandwich with two different kinds of processed cheese, secret sauce, and other KFC mystery products centrally tucked between two pieces of fried chicken fillets. Mm. But other than being just a little creepy, some of these more questionable third parties are also known to install malware into your computer, which essentially grants the hacker to access information on your computer, such as account details, phone numbers, bank numbers, and the like. One thing you can do to protect your computer is to install anti-malware software that detects and removes all kinds of malware. Some of these programs also keep a record of websites known to have malicious viruses, thereby preventing you from accessing pages with malicious code. Another thing you should consider checking out is a browser extension called Disconnect. Extensions like Disconnect allow you to see what websites and companies are tracking you online. The Disconnect browser extension can be downloaded from www.disconnect.me. This extension automatically blocks tracking requests from sites you visit. Facebook, Google, and Twitter, which are common tracking sites, have their own buttons on top for easy tracking and easy blocking. Other sites that request your tracking information are listed by category on the menu below the top bar and are blockable with a single click. For more details, read the Features section of the Disconnect website. Blocking tracking information this way can allow you to surf the web without worrying about some third-party website constantly recording your searches and what websites you go to. Your browser also processes less information this way, making your browsing a lot faster. But remember, although programs like Disconnect can make your web surfing more private, there aren't any surefire ways of staying completely anonymous online, as first-party trackers will always remain. Take Amazon.com for example. If you click on, say, a banana slicer, ads for Rubik's Cube fruit will likely follow. Amazon's tracking information will, however, not be spread to other third-party companies with other cutting-edge fruit slicing technologies. Will you be changing any of your online habits to protect your online privacy? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to also check out the Adjust Your Privacy page on www.digitaltattoo.ubc.ca for more tips on how to take control of your online privacy. Thanks for watching!